Hello, I'm Lindsay Lewis and I created the Clean Green Effluent System. I grew up in a neighbouring property here so I was well aware of the environmental issues with dairying on this property. We border the Matara River here, which is the world renowned trout fishing river. Environmentally friendly effluent system was the only way to protect that river. This is an effluent storage pond. It stores all the effluent from the cow shed, from the yard wash, the plant wash, it's all held here. This is a global problem. It is a common practice throughout the world to store effluent until we can get it out to pasture. As the travelling irrigator travels up the paddock, it applies effluent at up to 50 millimetres of application. This is far too much for the pasture and the soils to handle. This present system of storage effluent is unacceptable. Let me show you how the Clean Green Effluent System has eliminated this problem. Let me walk you through the Clean Green Effluent System. This is a solid separator wall, it's called a weeping wall. Uh, we put the effluent out through this pipe from the cow shed. All the solids are retained in this wall and the liquid runs through into the middle. We should be looking at this liquid as pure dollars. There's a lot of money in effluent here and we need to actually get it into our root base of our pasture without uh, leaching through the soils or into our waterways. So what we end up with in here is a very clean product. Once a year, the dry matter has got to be removed from the weeping wall here. It's dry enough to be removed with a digger and it can be spread out on poor pastures because it still does retain a lot of good fertiliser. The clean effluent comes from the, the weeping wall here, the centre wall, and it comes up into this left hand tank here. The secondary filters in the left hand tank take out all the hair and the grass and any suspended solids that's left and then it transfers through into this tank to be distributed out to our effluent system. It's a nice clean product there because anything that's going to block our small nozzles is all taken out in the first tank. This is our effluent pump shed. The faraway pump is used for cleaning external yards. This is how we can reduce our water usage in the shed. Our close pump here is the one that actually runs our effluent system out in the paddock. These pumps are extremely small as they're actually a pressure pump rather than a volume pump. We're not pumping any solids so we can actually get a pump that will do high pressures with a very, very low kilowatt rating. To give you some idea of the proximity between the shed and the effluent field, as you can see behind us here we have got the dairy shed. Just down to the left uh, and behind the trees is the effluent pond itself and our weeping wall and control gear. It then runs out through a main pipeline and runs down the lane to down the edge of the tree lane here to our effluent field here running. These are a K-line effluent pod designed in New Zealand. They are applying about four to five mil per hour. Um, because we're only applying effluent for seven minutes at a time, the uh, effluent rate is only half a mil of application per once every 24 to 36 hours. These K-line pods are quite unique too. We have designed a non-drip valve that fits into them. This stops pipe drainage when the pump shuts off. Pipe drainage is quite a problem with uh, undulating ground like this because the lowest pod always drains into the gully and we don't want any of that. This will handle up to four metres difference between the top pod and the bottom pod without any fear of any liquid entering our waterways or drains. This is the control box that it controls our K-line effluent system. The system is set up into four different groups and it switches from one group to the next every seven minutes. Now this control unit has got no solar panel, has no batteries, has no solenoids. It's all controlled by water pressure which is all worked back at the pump shed. So we have no cabling out here to the field at all. The pump turning on and off is what controls this gear. As you can see Mr Hamill shifting these pods, it's a very simple system. He can shift his whole effluent system in three quarters of an hour. Uh, as the system is only applying half a mil once every 24 to 36 hours, he only has to shift this effluent field once every 25 to 30 days. So half an hour, once a month, is all it takes him to look after his whole effluent system. I'd like to highlight some of the special features of the Clean Green Effluent System. We only apply half a millimetre of application once every 24 to 36 hours. This retains all our nutrients in our root base and we don't have any effluent running off or bleeding into our aquifers or waterways. We use 60% less water, fresh water at our sheds and the power usage for the pumps is down to 93% of any other system we know at this stage. I hope this video has been informative and we've been able to show you how Clean Green Effluent Company can clean up effluent, not only here in New Zealand, but worldwide. Thank you for watching. I'm very proud to be part of the Clean Tech Open Ideas competition.